I'm Daphne from Daps Makeup here to give you the quick tea on luxury makeup and today's video I think should be short and sweet. Um, today I, I just wanted to talk about the new Dior lip balms. Um, obviously this is a really <laughs> splurge of a kind of a purchase to buy luxury lip balms. I'm not saying that luxury lip balms are you know, a necessity by any means. You know, obviously you can buy a drugstore lip balm for like a fifth of the price and it'll be just as good if not better. Um, but if you're really into luxury lips, luxury makeup like I am, you know, we even fall into the trap of the lip balms because we love luxury packaging and obviously we're paying for the name and the luxury packaging. Um, but I especially wanted to talk about the new Dior lip balms because not only did they change up the packaging, but they also came out with a new shade, Dior Midnight, which I thought some people might be curious to know how this shade um, looks um, on the lips, especially if you are of my skin tone, if you have a similar lip uh, tone as mine. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what the new lip balm shade looks like on me, tell you what I think of the Dior formula overall, let you know, do you, is it worth paying the hefty price for a lip balm? Um, and then I'd also just quickly compare to uh, two other luxury brands, Prada and Lisa Eldridge, um, their newest formula. The shades are obviously not the same, same at all, but just comparatively, do I think the Dior lip balm, how does it compare? Is it worth paying the hefty price? Because we're talking about like $49. Um, now, if, if you buy the whole, um, not only the lip balm, but in the whole case, you can buy just pulling this out, buy just the refill and save yourself $10. So especially if you already have bought their lip balms before, you can just buy the refill, just snap it into the case, and then boom, there you go. And it'll work even in the old cases. So let me show you what these look like, tell you if it's worth it. I have nothing on my lips. My lips are dry right now, so I can't wait to put the lip balm on my lips. So let's get started. I thought I'd move in a little bit closer so you can see my dry lips and you can see see me apply it um, in front of you uh, up close. I do have, uh, by the way, they have a clear shade. I'm not going to apply it because it's clear. Um, formula is the same. I'll explain about the formula, but I'm not going to apply the clear because is clear. Um, there is this other shade that's kind of a more cool tony. I'll, I'll try to post it over here. Shade. Um, yeah, I forgo that. I was just more interested in the Dior Midnight and I was really curious to see how it is. I've been using it several times now, so um, I'll, I'll try to show you pictures of it, what it looked like untouched. But um, I, I actually had this on my lips early, took it off, I'm putting it back on for you guys. So I wiped up my lips, my lips are dry. So let me get in close, I want the camera to focus. Okay, let me apply this, let me just lower it a little bit, and apply it directly to my lips. So putting the first layer, you know, it almost comes up clear, but you can see the tint, the tint of color. So you see it has a more red, reddish tone, reddish brown tone compared to my natural lip. All right, now let me apply it uh, here. Once again, you can see the difference. So it does have a tone to it, it's not clear. And I'm gonna add a couple more layers so you can see how it builds up. And this is how it looks on my lips. Okay, I'm going to pull back and let's All talk. Alright, so this is what it looks like on my lips. And now you can give, get the full effect with my face. I didn't, I, you know, doing you know, very light makeup, basically no makeup makeup today. Um, I really just have a skin tint um, and some powder. Um, so, I, you know, I wanted the focus to just be on the lips, on the lip balm. So, so this is the shade. So if you're curious to see, to know how it looks, this is it. I'll get in close again. Okay, all right, so um, like I said, so this is, let's just look at the packaging just real quick one more time. I brought out 
an old one. I've showed this before, but in case you're seeing this video for the first time and you haven't been following my old videos, this is how the new one compares to the old one. So you can see at the top, that's where you see the biggest difference. So it has this silver top with this like mo you know this motif at the top versus the old one just had the CD at the top. And then when it comes to the band though, the new one just has the CD and the mo that same motif was actually on the lip balm, the ring itself. All right, so, but that's really it. It has a magnetic closure, but very sleek. I, you know, I do love the design of the packaging. It's just very sleek and, you know, quite luxe. And, you know, it's got some weight to it. So, you know, you're paying for the packaging. Hey, they did come through with the packaging. I think the packaging is very sleek and sophisticated, nice, and, you know, what we expect from Dior. Um, in terms of the formula, so I have to tell you, <laughs> When I first got this, and you know, I, I, I told myself that I wouldn't spend money, this much money on a Dior lip balm a while back. Um, but it was one of those kind of situations where I need to spend X amount of money for gift for purchase, or I needed some extra points and things like that. And I decided to just go ahead and bite the bullet and buy it. Um, because it's a lot of money, 50 bucks for a lip balm, is it really worth it? Do I really like the formula? Because I've actually tried this before, I told you. I've tried it in clear, and I just thought it was just okay, and I said to myself, not gonna do it, and then here I am. Don't judge me, uh, you know, I got weak, and hey, the whole gift or purchase got me. They got me, they got me, but hey, to your benefit, so now you get to know what I think of it. So when I tried it again, I have to tell you, the first couple times I did it, I really was not impressed by the formula. I was like, this is not really moisturizing. I hate it. I was like really planning to return, really debating returning it. Um, I was just like, Ugh, oh my God, I spent all this for this. Now I have to say now that I've been using this several times now, there must be like a film or something on top of the lip balm because I swear the first couple times, at least for me, when I try it, I feel like it's not really moisturizing, not impressed. But now that I've used it several times, I feel like I must have got whatever that initial layers film off. Now it feels more moisturizing to me. Like now I'm like, oh, okay. Now it is giving me um, a decent amount of moisture. It's not super juicy or anything like that, um, but it's just giving me just enough moisture. Um, now some people might be disappointed that it's not a super juicy um, lip balm. I don't mind, especially for the clear. Um, from my, you know, from my perspective, you know, one of the major things I do when I get a clear, um, you know, lip balm from um, these brands is that I use it almost like a, a lip primer. Um, so I will take a clear your lip, and you're like, why you pay this amount of money? And I'm still not saying that it's necessary, but I like to wear these beneath. A, matte lipstick so that I have something that gives me just enough um, moisture um, for my dry lips, um, smooths out my lips um, so that it's a great primer for the a matte lip lipstick, um, you know, which can be very drying. Um, but once I put these, that helps to negate that. So that's why I like to, I, I feel like this Dior formula is great as a lip primer kind of formula. So I think especially the clear, like I think it's good if you're gonna use it like as a lip primer rather than just like, oh my God, my lips are so dry, I need something for moisturizing. Um, now, with the color though, um, you know, I'm not gonna use this as a lip primer unless I know I have a lipstick of this kind of shade. So if I am gonna wear a red tone, reddish brown tone lipstick, then I certainly could use it, but you know, otherwise I don't wanna disrupt the color um, if I have, if I'm wearing something totally, if I'm doing something very pink or very purple or orange lipstick, I, you know, I don't want it to throw it off. Um, now, I don't know if you're going to appreciate this, and I might show some pictures, but I was mentioning my lips are very dry, and I have a little dry patch of skin over here. The thing about this kind of lipstick, especially when it has color to it, is that it can grip onto any dry patches, and, it, and then it, so... The application might not be as smooth um, as I'd like. Um, it might emphasize my dry patches. Um, doesn't look too bad today, right now. 
I don't know if you can appreciate it live, but I'm going to show you some pictures I took earlier today. Uh, I probably, my lips are even drier at that time maybe, but you can see it like kind of clinging onto the, my dry patches. So just trying to wear it out on its own. I'm like, oh, you know, it's one thing to wear it beneath a lipstick, but to wear it on its own, then I want to make sure that everything is a smooth application. It's not drying. And then I'm still, you know, I've been going back and forth. Do I like this color or not? Um, on my for my lips, my skin tone. Um, I'm coming around to it, but it's not necessarily my favorite tone to just wear out just um, regular. I wanna show you um, two other lip balms formulas that I've been really loving lately. Um, Lisa Eldridge and Prada. Let me show you those so you can see how those colors, those shades look on my lips and I could tell you how the formula compares. Be right back. Right, I'm back and back zoomed into my lips. Um, so this is Lisa Eldridge um, lip balm in the shade uh, Sweet Fig. So cute packaging. Not necessarily as weighty as the Dior. Um, so I'm gonna apply it. Now this color I'm gonna tell you right now is essentially like my lip tone. I remember when I first got this, uh, I was almost a little disappointed because it's similar, but now I've kind of loved it because it's like my lip tone. So let me apply it and then we'll talk some more. So this, so this is this compared to my natural lip tone. So you can see very similar to my natural lip tone. Okay, let's apply it on the top as well. All right, let me pull back and let's talk. So, um, any of you guys who um, might have watched my previous video talking about the Lisa Eldridge uh, lip balms, uh, you would know I bought two different shades and um, I'll tell you, like, I probably from that video, I probably was really pushing um, or, you know, was showing that I was particularly enamored by the other shade, um, which was a deeper shade. Um, and I was just loving it. It just was really popping on my lips and I was in love with it. And then this one, I was kind of like, oh, oh, you know, it's so plain. It's so natural. I was kind of like a little bit. Uh. But I have to say now, <laughs> I've been using this one a lot, this particular shade, Sweet Fig. Uh, for the same reason I was almost a little bit like disappointed is actually now the reason why I love it because it is my skin tone. You know, when I start thinking of it like a true lip balm rather than like thinking of it like a lipstick, it's great that it's like my skin tone. I can put it on. It looks natural. Um, I don't have to think too much about what any other makeup products I have, if it's going to clash or not going to clash. If my lips are dry, I just want something on my lips. I just... Um, just for the moisture, just to run out the door. I don't have to fuss too much about the, the tone or anything like that. Um, as you can see, very natural. In terms of the formula, so much more moisturizing than the Dior. So especially if I'm really just about, just my lips are dry and I just want something to, to um, so that my lips can feel good. And you know, and it's like my lips, but better, you know, it's giving my, you know, so obviously my lips not only not feel dry, but don't look dry. There's this beautiful sheen to it. Not too glossy, but it's got a little bit of shine, you know, so I actually have come to really like this formula and actually like this shade. Um, it's cheaper than Dior's, $15 cheaper. So you're paying less for it. I still think it's cute packaging. You know, it's slimmer, not as weighty, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so it's so much more moisturizing, $15 less. And it's a color that... I don't have to fuss with, I don't have to worry about because it's so natural. Let me show you Prada and then uh, I'll really give you my final thoughts about specifically Dior and about luxury lip balms. All right, we zoomed back into my lips and on to Prada. And th they do have this in a more a clear tone shade, but I got the one called Maple. Um the deeper shade that's in there. So let me apply. So there it's applied on my lips and up top 
Once again, this looks more natural. All right, let me pull back and let's talk some more. All right, so this is the Prada lip balm in the shade Maple. Um, once again, here's the packaging. So this one got some weightiness to it. So this one's $50. So this one is equivalent to the Dior pricing. Um, so, you know, as to be expected, as it should, you know, given Dior and Prada's pricing, there's definitely more weight to these two compared to the Lisa Eldred. Um, loving the magnetic closure. You know, you got the, you know, always got that kind of minty green color inside. You can tell I've been loving it. I have been using this lip balm. I love it. It's expensive. I get it. It is expensive, but I love this lip balm. It feels so good. It feels, this feels really moisturizing. Um, it's not as glossy, I feel, as the Lisa Eldred. So between the three, Lisa Eldred is the juiciest of the three. Not too juicy. It's not like a lip gloss kind of situation. But between the three, um, Lisa Eldred is the juicier of the three. Um, and this is kind of a bit more, mo this is more moisturizing than the Dior, but not as juicy as the Lisa Eldred. Um, but it is moisturizing, so I feel good. Like, I put this on and my lips always feel cushioned. Like, ugh. It, I actually really like this formula. And I actually like this shade. It's a very natural shade on me. So once again, like, I put this on, I don't have to think about it. And this is one that, like, I've, you know, obviously I would go out and no make makeup. But I've done, like, light makeup looks and just worn this. Like, I would almost, like, a lip I, I know it's a very natural shade, but I don't know. It's one that I actually have felt comfortable even putting some light makeup and still wearing this. And I don't know. I was actually okay with it. Um... So I, this is actually be not, this is probably actually my favorite lip balm. Um, as you can probably tell, like number one, number two, and then on the bottom is the, the Dior. Um, and like I said, I've gone back and forth. Should I, should I return it? Should I not? I think, like I said, in my mind, the Dior formula feels more like a lip primer more than a lip Bomb. You know, like it's great to use underneath a lipstick rather than like I I don't normally wear the Dior lip like the clear one. I've I've always never really just kind of wore it on its own. It was always like, let me use it just before I apply my matte lipstick. Um and so, you know, I, I think I, I will still keep the clear one because um I think um, I always like to have that kind of formula to pair with my matte lipsticks. But in terms of having a lip balm, like if I ever just want to wear it on its own, um, I'm loving the Lisa Eldridge and the Prada um, because two, I'm really loving the color. It's a very natural color on me. And, and two, it is very moisturizing. So I really feel like it's totally, um, they're great to just wear on its own. Let me put the Dior, the Dior Midnight Shade back on my lips one last time. Let me get one last feel on my lips, and then and then let's just talk about do we like the shade and just wrap this up. All right, so I got the Dior Midnight back on my lips. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just I'm trying to figure out if I like the red. It has a more red tone, um, and you know it's just not, of course, as natural um, as the shades that I own in um, the Prada and the Lisa Eldred. And right now. Um, they don't really have a similar shade in the Dior line at the moment. So like, not that it looks bad, but I almost feel like if I use this lip balm, then I need my makeup to kind of bring that red energy. Um, so you know what, let me just add just a, you know, light makeup, but let me just add a little bit of red, um, you know, maybe shadow and, and cheeks, um, and see if I can make this more amendable to me. So give me a second. So, I went and brought out this Chanel palette, um, which is very red tone. 
and just added some more red tone makeup. I just still wanted to keep everything light because it's just a lip balm because um, I didn't want the makeup to overwhelm the lip balm. Um, so I think, you know, if I have more red tone makeup, then this lip balm, now it makes sense. I, I think I was always getting thrown off that like, if I try to go out with like no makeup on or really, you know, really natural toned um, makeup, the lips just kind of were, looked off and a little bit, it was just looking off. Um, so I think if I wear more red tone lips, ma light makeup, then the lip balm works. Because otherwise, I prefer it to be a truly natural, natural looking, um, you know, lip balm. So unless I'm, I'm planning to wear this style of light makeup, um, I would prefer the natural tone of the Prada and the Lisa Eldred. So, um, so you know what? I, actually, I might keep it beca because because <laughs> because I do own this, and as you can see, I actually do like this palette. I, you can see how messy it is. It's something I actually use. Um, now I have a lip balm that will pair with it. Um, but you know, if you're not a person who's really into red tone makeup, I don't know on its own. It might look a little bit off, but um, I don't know. It, it, it's okay. Like I said, um, you just have to be careful. You know, it might be good <laughs> um, if you do those lip scrubs to make sure to really exfoliate your lips so you have a truly smooth canvas um, so that it doesn't pick up on any dry spot patches on your lips because then the distribution the application might not be as smooth um i think um this grips more on all your little imperfections in your lips compared to uh to the other lip balm so that's the other thing too i feel like it's not as a forgiving lip balm um as the others um because like i like i said i feel like this is more like a lip primer kind of a formula a little bit um, then like a truly moisture moisturizing lip, um, lip balm. But, um, now that I've used it several times, actually it is now moisturizing, but I have to tell you the first couple of times I was like, mm, I was not feeling it. I was feeling like I, my lips still felt very dry, even using it on uh, my lips. But after I got through those initial kind of layers, now it actually does feel moisturizing to me. So, so is it a necessary? No. <laughs> Fifty dollar lip balm. I'll never tell anybody like this is a must. Um, you know, and especially the Dior formula. If you really are into luxury lip balms, I would actually say go for um, Prada. Um, I'm actually kind of now. I'm actually really curious to try. Um, I won't call it clear, but um, Prada has this other one that is supposed to be like pH balance. Like I think it'll still come off a little pinky, but it's supposed to kind of like react to your lips, the pH in your lips, you know, and you know, those kind of formulas always kind of lean pinky. Um, but I'm always curious to see how that would look on my lips. Um, would I like it on its own? Would I like it underneath the lipstick? Um, you know, so I might, um, end up buying, um, another Prada lip balm, but I love the maple shade. I love the maple shade of the Prada lip balm. So that's my favorite formula at the moment. So between the three is my least favorite. I might even put even the Chanel lip balm above this one, which is equivalent pricing as well. Um, so I won't say Dior has my favorite um, lip balm format, but it's all right. It's not bad. So there you go for Dior Midnight in case you're curious to see what it looks like. Obviously, it's a lip balm, so it's definitely still going to be sheer. It's just giving a tint. But like I said, it'll grip any dry patches or imperfections on your lips. So just be aware. All right. All right. I've talked enough. You get the point. <laughs> Hopefully you find this video helpful. Um, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next time to show you whatever items happen to come into my makeup collection. Until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.